Hi friends, I'm Beth of the National Portrait Gallery and I'm pleased to welcome you to another Introducing Storytime, where we introduce you to the people and stories that have shaped our history. Today we're looking at this painting called Shimomura Crossing the Delaware by artist Roger Shimomura. Let's pretend for a moment that we're in the museum looking at this painting. It's actually three separate canvases that have been connected the painting is huge. It takes up the entire wall. As we look at it, we see a lot of water and many, many blue and white waves. In the background, there's a darker blue sky with black and white clouds and tiny lines of rain coming down. Across the front of the painting, is a blue boat that looks sort of like a large canoe and there are 10 men inside the boat. Some of them are standing, some are seated, many of them have oars or paddles and they're just trying to make their way across this water. This painting is interesting to me for a lot of reasons. First of all, it's huge and it's colorful and there's a lot of movement and so much to see. But it's also interesting because Roger Shimomura created this self-portrait to get us to think and ask a lot of questions, even if we don't have all the answers. One of the first questions that comes to mind as we look at this self-portrait is, what is a self-portrait? A self-portrait is a portrait that an artist creates of themselves. Sometimes artists create self-portraits to show how they look or how they feel or what's important to them. If you've ever drawn or painted a picture of yourself, you have created a self-portrait, just like Roger Shimomura. Shimomura painted this to look like a famous painting of George Washington called Washington Crossing the Delaware. And Washington Crossing the Delaware is another large painting that shows General George Washington in a boat being rowed by soldiers going across a frozen river. So think about that as we look at this painting. Here we have a boat on water being rowed by samurai. Samurai were Japanese soldiers that lived a long time ago. And in the center of the boat, at the very top of the group, is Roger Shimomura looking right at us. And he's dressed like General George Washington. Why do you think Shimomura painted himself dressed as George Washington. George Washington is often referred to as a founding father. The founding fathers were the most powerful men in the country when the United States became a country. The founding fathers, as the name suggests, were all men because they're called fathers and they are also all white men. Many students, including me when I was younger, learn about the founding of the country by learning the stories of white men. But where are the women? Where are the people of color? Roger Shimomura is Asian American. His grandparents moved to the United States from Japan. Here, dressed as George Washington, he stands tall and proud and brave but by placing himself in the role of George Washington, he invites us to think about what if George Washington had been Asian American like him. As we look at the space around them, we see row after row of choppy waves. And between all of these waves, including some that look like they're gonna come up over the boat and these cloudy, stormy skies, the shadowy figures behind them. This is kind of an intense or scary scene. I might feel nervous if I was here. Certainly some of the samurai look nervous as they look down at the water. The samurai are rowing Shimomura across the San Francisco Bay in California and Angel's Island is in the background. Between 1910 and 1940, hundreds of thousands of people traveled through Angel's Island, many of them from countries like China and Japan. They passed through Angel's Island on their way to their new homes in the United States. I wonder 
if Roger Shimomura painted this scene, all these storms and the waves to show how scary it can be to move to a new place. Have you ever moved to a new home? Have you ever moved to a new country? Roger Shimomura was born in the United States, as were his parents, but he knows what it feels like to feel like you don't belong. And that is because of his ethnicity. Ethnicity refers to groups that we are often placed in because of our religion or because of where our families come from, because of our culture or traditions. Roger Shimomura's Japanese ethnicity is highlighted in this portrait through clues like the samurai soldiers and Angel's Island. There were times when Shimomura's family, because they were Japanese American, because of their ethnicity, there were times where they were made to feel like they didn't belong. There were times when their neighbors, their community, or even the United States government made them feel unwelcome. Com um, ethnicity is often tied to identity. Identity refers to how we see ourselves. Roger Shimomura, his identity is complex. It has a lot of parts to it, which is very normal. He's Japanese American, he's American, he's an artist, and he uses his art to explore how ethnicity can often make us feel different, but how we should all want to feel like we belong. So with this self-portrait, he wants us to think about unfair treatment against um, Asian Americans, for example, in the United States. Who belongs in the United States? Does he belong? He was born here. So then why has he at times felt unwelcome? What does it feel like when you don't feel welcome? How, what can we do to help people feel like they belong? These are just a few of the questions that come to mind as we look at this portrait. But anytime I look at it, I think of more questions to consider. So thank you for thinking with me. I hope you can join us again for another introducing story time as we talk about the people and stories shaping history. Thank you.